we're working with hybrid honeybees. Um, so these are hybrids between European bees, which are what most beekeepers keep uh, in the US and North America and in Europe. Uh, and they're hybridized with Africanized bees, which were an African subspecies that has been introduced to South America. And then they hybridize with European bees and have spread forth uh, from there. So they've replaced European bees um, where they're found. So one of the interesting things about these Africanized bees is that they're highly aggressive. So we, if you were around in the 90s, um, you probably heard lots of stories about killer bee invasions. And so that's what these, these bees are. They, they attack a whole lot. Um, a lot of bees come out of the hive and will attack any intruder. And so we were interested in what are some of the genetic bases of this um, difference in aggression between these bees. And so by hybridizing them together, so taking European bees and Africanized bees and crossing them together, we can actually get at the genetics um, underlying that behavior. And so the interesting aspect of their, this hybridization is hybrids that have an Africanized mother, so you can have hybrids with an Africanized mother or a European mother, the Africanized mother hybrids are highly aggressive and the European mother hybrids are less aggressive. They're sort of in between the two parent types. And so we wanted to know what's happening on a gene regulatory way, um, manner in terms of um, what's affecting that aggression. So in our study, we've looked at allele specific expression. So this is expression of the Africanized allele. So a version of a gene that's coming from the Africanized parent versus coming from the European parent. And how does that use of those alleles, how much are they producing um, the, the RNA off of those, those uh, genes in each hybrid type? How does that differ between the families? And so, as I said, we have the, we have the expression or the aggression differences, rather, um, in these hybrids <clears throat> where we have an asymmetri asymmetrically high aggression in the Africanized maternity hybrids. And we are actually seeing that in the same family, there's an overuse of the European allele where we have uh, in the, the family, the hybrid type that has a European mother. So we think this weird use of their alleles is somehow affecting this aggression. So the interesting thing about these, these hybrids, these F1 hybrids, first generation hybrids, is they have an allele that they get from their mother, an allele that they get from their father. But you can see in the diagram that they have the same alleles in their genome. So they're what we would call heterozygous at every locus. They have one allele of each type. The only difference is which parent they got it from, whether they got it from their mom or from their dad. And the other big difference is uh, that they have different mitochondria, which is something that's passed on only from the maternal line. And interestingly, we find an enrichment of mitochondrial genes in our data set. Uh, and so we think that that's somehow playing a role in it as well in this differential or uh, allele-specific expression. One of the other previous uh, findings in these hybrids is that these European maternity hybrids have low metabolic rates, so much lower than their parents. Uh, which is surprising, um, not surprising that they have a low metabolic rate, but we see the same asymmetry in that metabolic um, function. And there's been research um, in different labs looking at how metabolic rate and aggression may actually be related. So counterintuitively, bees have been shown to have low brain metabolic rates when they're really aggressive. So if you give them alarm pheromone to induce aggression, it actually lowers their brain metabolic rates. And so we think that combined with the mitochondrial findings, having uh, mitochondrial interacting genes in this gene set, we think that this could be a route of getting to aggression. So we change allele-specific expression of genes relating to mitochondria, causes a shift in metabolism, and that causes a change in, in aggression. High in the sky impacts, we may be able to tell something about um, Africanized honeybees and what, because I said they're, they're hybrids already, it may tell us something about what's happening in their hybridization with European honeybees. Um, and this could have an impact on a lot of um, farmers and people who uh, raise honeybees for pollination services and for producing honey because it turns out when you keep a really aggressive hive, it takes a lot more work. It takes more time and time is money. And so if we can find a way to reduce the spread of these or um, find a way to ameliorate this aggression, it could actually save a lot of money in an agricultural sense.